Come down here. There you go. That was a stained with Just Go from their major label debut called Dysfunctional. Fred Durst, Limp Bizkit's main man, had a big uh, piece of this band. Uh, he uh, directed the video that you just saw, and he also signed him. They got him signed and sort of... Did he get him signed? Yeah, he signed in the A and R of the album, and it's all his doing, basically. So if you like it, now you know where it all came from. Uh, anyway, coming up, we're going to get a little hardcore on your ass. Um, we've got a couple of videos coming up from a legendary New York fan, and we've also got a video coming up from a Swedish punk fan. It's all downhill from now. <laughs> this is a little uh, iced tea here in a shot glass. They've run out of the other classes. Thanks for the challenge. All right, woo! We are back. That was uh, sick of it all with potential for a fall. Dude, that rhymes. These guys are uh, kings of the New York hardcore scene, so now you know. I am Lars, and I am here to remind you now that we've got something along the lines of, like, all-time greatest hard rock videos ever filmed, you know, all that type of nonsense, A to Z, all that stuff. Uh, about six, eight hours worth of all your favorite hard rock videos of all time, featuring cool things like Soundgarden and Guns and Nirvana and uh, Metallica and Korn and who else we got in? Poison? Bullet Boys, you're joking. I think I'm being had here. But uh, anyway, you heard <laughs> Huh? Anyway, you heard me right. This is MTV's 1999 Return of the Rock. And coming up after the break, we've got Buck Cherry with a song about... Uh, and uh, we've got my bro and your bro, Kid Rock, who is uh, coming out and opening for Metallica. No, opening. Special guest to Metallica uh, through all the Millennium shows that we're playing. Um, up around the lakes uh, at the end of December, beginning of January. So that is going to be pretty much the coolest touring experience I can imagine. The talent from Kid Rock, what more do you want? Anyway, coming up after the break, Buck Cherry, Kid Rock. Potential for home. Yeah. Tip the lady, cheapskates. Hey, it's Lars from Metallica. I am still at Haunts and Heifers, and uh, this is my friend Michelle. She is the proprietor here at Haunts and Heifers, and she's going to help me with the next segment. We're going to talk a little bit about Buck Cherry, and this is the script, and now Michelle is going to read some stuff about Buck Cherry. Where do you want to pick it up? Well, we were talking before about the L.A. metal scene for bands like Fear Factory and uh, System, uh, of, a System of a Down. System of a Down. But there's also uh, Buck Cherry, like Buck you said. Cherry. And although these guys prefer piercings to tattoos and uh, Hispanic celebrity, they sound almost winks and smiles at the Sunset Strip, doesn't it? It does. And uh, think Black Crows, Guns N' Roses, and uh, Rolling Stones. You and you get the picture. Oh, okay. They've been together since 1995 and it had just begun to hit the spotlight from their self-titled debut. Here's Buck Cherry with Lit Up. I'm still Lars. I'm still at Hawks and Heifers. Not for much longer though. And uh, we're still doing 1999, The Return of the Rock. One of the so-called big three that we haven't hit upon yet is Limp Biscuit, And um, their video Nookie is coming up in two seconds. But before that, here's a little something about them. That was uh, Get Born Again from Alice in Chains. Um, basically, they were the first band to break out of Seattle back in the uh, early 90s, first band to really break out big. And uh, they have long been a favorite band of mine, probably you know one of my three favorite hard rock bands ever. And I was actually just um, hooking up with Jerry Cantrell, the guitarist, the other day, and he's working on a solo album in LA as we're speaking, and that's a coming out early next year, so uh, look for that. He played me some of it over the phone, and uh, it sounded amazing. So uh, look for that sometime next year. Um, they wanted me to, uh, in the script, they wanted me to talk about the, the whole thing around that, that G word, but, uh, you know, G-R-U-N-G-E, but we don't want to get into that. But um, anyway, so enough about Seattle, but... After the break, we've got videos coming up from Marilyn Manson, Orgy, and, and lots more. 
This is 1999, the return of the rock. <laughs> it's really time to wind this down soon. It's, uh, I, think, I think we might even get thrown out of here. And, uh, bartender Michelle over there is starting to tempt everybody with tequila shots and stuff. So it's getting a little nutty. Stick around, Marilyn Manson, or a bunch more stuff. And we will see you in a second. Well, <laughs> I'm Lars and... Uh, now we're not coming to you from Hawks and Heifers anymore. Now we're coming to you from outside of Hawks and Heifers, sitting on top of a big lump of trash here. <laughs> uh, it got a little too nutty in there. Um, you know, we were sort of pissing people off. All these guys over here were pissing people off. I was just doing my job, of course, just trying to read from the script. Anyway, we've got uh, the new video from Marilyn Manson. What's it called, Coma or something? Coma White. And um, it basically um, is, sort of plays that whole JFK assassination thing. Um, Marilyn himself plays, uh, plays um, JFK and Rose McGowan, McGowan, his girlfriend, plays uh, Jackie Onassis. So there you go, a couple for couple type of thing. And in some kind of twisted irony of, of being told to relay you guys that the video showed up at MTV the day of the um, of the uh, JFK Jr. plane crash, so that sort of adds to the whole like wow vibe. Anyway, check out the new video from Marilyn Manson. This is Coma White right here on TV. Hey, live and direct from the trash heap outside of Hogs and Heifers. That was Orgy with the video Stitches. Um, actually, a lot of the guys in, in Orgy have uh, been kicking around in some of the. Uh, LA bands for quite a while and going back to the sort of Motley Crue Poison heyday back in the mid 80s and now we are going to show you a brief clip of guitars and New York the rock back with rough cut back in the mid 80s so check this out for a second. Whoa! <laughs> well I guess we've all got the skeletons of uh, some sort in our closet. Huh? I've uh, actually got some pictures hidden very, very far away of uh, myself wearing like a white leather jacket at some point in the mid-80s also, so I guess we're all equally guilty of something. But uh, coming up after the break, we've got two, 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 not one, but two bands from Massachusetts who have uh, helped bring back hard rock to the uh, forefront and to the charts and stuff like that in the last few months. I don't know who they are, you don't know who they are, but we will find out after the break. So stick around right here on MTV. <laughs> Welcome back to 1999, the return of the rock. We are still sitting on our trash heap here in the uh, meatpacking district here in Manhattan, right outside of Hawks and Heifers, where we were uh, mercilessly evicted, <laughs> ostracized from a few minutes ago. Um, but we are basically spending lots and lots of valuable MTV time talking about bands who brought back hard rock in 1999. And we were talking about two bands from Massachusetts, the first of them which is coming your way right now. This is uh, Godsmack. That was Mud Shovel from Stain, who hailed from Massachusetts just like Godsmack performed. I am Lars from Metallica, and this is 1999, The Return of the Rock. We are coming to the end of our four-hour extravaganza here. Um, we started a few hours ago inside at Hawks and Heifers here in Manhattan, and now we're sitting in the uh, pile of trash outside Hawks and Heifers. But uh, I still want to thank Michelle and Michelle in there, who have been very helpful, uh, the MTV crew here. And I want to thank especially all the bands who have brought back hard rock, even though it really never went that far away, who have sort of um, helped make 1999 a hard rock year again and so thanks to all the good bands and friends out there i also want to remind you guys that um, even though we're coming to the end of this show that uh, basically this whole weekend is devoted to hard rock videos here at mtv and we've got the sort of uh, a to z type of thing of all the hard rock videos that you want to see and even some you don't want to see <laughs> and uh it's got all the great stuff in there, from Metallica to Guns to Nirvana to Soundgarden to Alice in Chains to all that type of stuff. So check that out. We are pretty much going to sign off here. I am Lars Metallica. I want to thank all you guys for sticking with me and putting up with all this silliness and nonsense and uh, all these uh, 
script rewrites and whatever else we've had to do over the last few hours. We are going to go out with Orgy. No, we're not. We're going out with Buck Cherry. Yeah. Hey, I'm trying here. Okay, work with me. We're going out with Buck Cherry. Coming up in two seconds. Thanks to all you guys out there. And stick around all weekend on MCV for more hard rock. See ya.